So hi everybody from Hamburg in Germany. Hi Paul, hi David. So perfect. So uh, grab yourself a glass and um, enjoy the day. I enjoyed it as well. Uh, looked all the tutorials and uh, it's a fantastic job. Uh, all the ladies before me, uh, I really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, here's my part of the game. Um, we were doing a little bit of modeling. Uh, for all who knows me, I'm a more basic decorator. Um, I love to teach uh, people who haven't worked with fondant or any kind of cake decorating. So we will be doing some little figurines like this. Uh, it's my easy method of decorating or modeling figures and specialized anim animals. And I thought it's an easy way you can do with kids especially if you're staying at home and uh, everybody should and the kids would like to join in cake decorating so that's a way you can teach them show them and um, i hope you enjoy it it's really easy so hi guys lovely to see you all um yes paul and david um long cv um and 27 years already in the business um and learned lots today from the other ladies so uh, thank you very very much for this idea and putting us all together and for all your hard work the last past days and yeah so i will get st get started um we we're doing some figurines maybe um you know this little guy is my little Mr. Froggy uh, really a signature since I'm on the internet um, and he's always around with me. Um, th this is the basic figurine and you don't need much. Uh, I will switch on the camera so you can see the table. Um, so hope you won't get seasick. And I hope you can hear me as well. So uh, if something happens, I will have the laptop to watch. Um, basically, you don't need a scale. That's the best thing. You can model with everything, fondant, modeling chocolate, uh, clay, sculpty, whatever you like. And it's always the same cutting scheme. And so you have the right proportions for every animal. It's called one to three method and it's easy as one to three so really small children can make it um, and it's not something you have to be really precise it's more um, you can play around and get started with modeling animals you see what you need um, a little bit of edible glue i put the little rabbit away um, knife I think some lollipop sticks just to have it for um, uh, what you call it um, stabilizing to make it secure just have to make sure that Paul can contact me if something happens and um, yes for sure some modeling fondant um, I use Masa Ticino as Paul said uh, it's my favorite brand and I mix it with uh, Tragant CMC and it's 500 grams um, fondant Masa Ticino to one teaspoon of CMC. Let it sit for overnight uh, at an airtight bag. And you can decide what size of animal you want to make. Um, the system works for small things like this or larger things, I wouldn't go too large because the amount of fondant you use. And I always start by looking for the size I want to have. So just to have a measure if it's really the precise amount you want to make. Then knead it a little bit and you make a roll. And this is the only time you really need to be a little bit more precise to make it straight um, and now we can cut it in three parts so this is why it's called one two three method and you will have one part as the head 
one part for the body and the third part is cut into four equal parts and two parts are the legs and one part is divided for the arms and here's the rest so for animals you have ears you have the tail or something extras this is where this comes from and um, you always have the same cutting sheen if you want to make a bird you just changed these parts so you have for the wings a little bit more fondant normally i would put it away and um, just make it airtight but we have to be really quick because i want to show you two kind of animals i always start with the body part knead it well hi everybody so while kneading i can look for some questions and i always start making a ball and my figurines are always a little bit lovely curvy um, because i th i love um, the idea of making people smile and um, i think if you have more cute or the animals if they are a little bit thicker uh, they're comic style and um, they really give you a smile so then i make a teardrop and make it really pointy and what I look for on every animal I'm doing is I use a toothpick and on the thickest part of the belly, I do a belly bottom. So put the body up and then I take one of the leg parts, knead it and make a ball. Um, hi Barbara, I'm using Massachino mixed with CMC, but you can use any kind of modeling paste. Um, yes, Jackie, it's um, I'm using CMC, but Tylos or Trigant is the same nearly. Start with the ball and then put your hands crossed over and make a sausage. And for a carrot shape, I just give a little bit more pressure to the palm of my hand and frogs have long legs so I do them a little bit longer and take the pointed end flatten it take your knife and Mr. Froggy only has three toes three fingers don't ask me why since he was born and after I think he's with me 12 years now just put the leg like a little warm make some knee and then flatten the bigger part add some glue and I put the leg on the side of the body so the feet is in line with the belly. The second leg. And uh, there's a question. Um, how I do I store our leftover fondant? I put my leftover fondant just in little zipper bags and um, put them in the bucket from Masachino and I think they're the last uh, for at least two or three months. So that's the easiest way. Um, second leg. The good thing is um, don't be too accurate and try to make the legs the same size and everything. Be creative, be play around. It's a fun part and um,
that's the why way well, that's the way why it's really easy for children to get this method um, they just get a hint what they cut and then they can go on by them by themselves so before I put on the arms I bring in my structure and with a little bit of pressure down the whole body cut it off to one centimeter and it's up to you normally the arms are that's this size but for mr froggy i prefer to cut it again to have some smaller arms again make a ball yes i'm making a frog that's right um, and again flatten the pointed part and always be sure to make the wrist a little bit smaller cut two times so if you prefer to have five fingers make sure your feet has always five toes as well so that fits together if you want to be creative then do as you like seven six fingers um, but always make sure fingers and toes are the same amount um, Barbara Ann it's so easy it really is uh, a friend of mine tested it uh, when I started with the one two three method in a kindergarten and um, especially for small children or um, kids who wants to start with cake decorating it's a very very easy method and um, they get such good results from the beginning so uh, just try it um, if you want to have an edible stick I don't know where it's around uh, I think in Europe you can all also or all in all parts get uh, Mikado like little cookies covered with chocolate uh, I prefer that or um, salty sticks maybe would be a good alternative to make it edible uh, spaghetti yeah but I think if you put too much glue on the spaghetti uh, it maybe gets a little bit uh, softened so uh, be careful with that when you have your arms take the head part and knead it well So um, I show you the cutting scheme and I will give it to Paul so he can post it afterwards or you can go to my Facebook site. I will put it up there after this. Uh, it's Bettina Schlieb or Betty Sugar Dreams is it here. Um, Betty Sugar Dreams is my company's name. So they will find it afterwards. Make a ball. And I love to do my heads like a little bit egg shape. And so I have it a little bit smaller up here. And I put the egg shape in my hand. Here's the bolder part. Um, and I now take this part of my thumb. Not going like this, just with a side go around and flatten the part of the eye and don't do it on the table because then the back will be flattened when you put it in your hand it stays round and now when you see it from the side see here are the eyes and here nose and mouth part so for the mouth I take the knife and I don't cut with the tip I start here and just press it and so he's hopefully smiling at you um, hi guys there are some German ones no Christian won't, won't be there today it's cake decorating not baking so Christian, for all the other ones, is my um, code judge at German Bake Off. Um, so normally we are in t the TV together. He's a famous pastry chef uh, now in Switzerland. So 
if you ever be in Switzerland, he is really fantastic. The frog hasn't any nose, but he has eyes. So just take a small piece of white modeling paste. And I always start with a little roll and put it in here to see if the eyes are large enough or too small and then cut it into two parts so in hope to get two equal parts put some glue on here and make like tic tac or rice and what's important is just bring them up so they stay straight when you look from the side um you can see that here is a little bit of air so they don't lie to the head they're just going up there and a little piece from my rest and two pointed ends flatten I should, Paul says I should say some, some German. Um, ja, also alle, die aus Deutschland zu gucken, die ganzen Verrückten, ähm, ich hoffe, euch geht's gut. Schön, dass ihr hier rübergekommen seid und ähm, ja, ich hoffe, ihr habt ein bisschen Spaß am Torten dekorieren und ähm, genießt einfach den Tag und ähm, wartet ab. Zum Schluss kommt noch eine kleine Überraschung, das kann ich schon mal verraten, ähm, aber das kommt nachher auf Englisch weiter. So, back to English. For the eyes, um, you can paint them, of course, with an edible pencil. I really not fancy with that kind. Um, I prefer to paint my eyes with a toothpick and edible paint. Um, I think edible paint comes from Square's Kitchen and Rainbow Dust as well. You can use um, cocoa butter and black powder as well. Uh, like Emily showed us this morning already how to cocoa paint. Um, I think edible paint is easy because you can just use it. I love to paint the eyes with a toothpick because uh, for me brushes tend to have the little hair if you go and put it on the eye uh, and the, this little hair is always in the way. So just put on some color. And I always try to make no mess with it. And I put my animals in the hand and I always paint from the above. Don't try to make the toothpicks going like this. So you have a little hole in there. Just put it there and from the top, just put the toothpick there and there you have your eyes. So this was the first one and yes time seems okay so we can do a little another figurine. I put little froggy on here so we can see him again. Put it over. So for everybody who's new here and just joining in um, Welcome to Kicking All Over the World and um, I'm Bettina, Betty from Germany and I'm showing you how to make really easy cake decorating. Um. So next figurine will be a unicorn and again this is my cutting method. It's called one to three, three equal parts and then divide it to have the right proportions. and. For the unicorn we take white of course you will find the cutting plan after the live on my facebook site betty sugar dreams and i will give it to paul as well so he can um, put it in there for you and there's a question uh, the, the glue is edible uh, it's just cmc and water no alcohol and if you start a figurine just make a little building and see what size you want. You can, as I said before, make any size of animal, um, small ones, large ones, it's always the same cutting plan. So this is really, really easy. 
Um, so, always start with a roll and cut it in three equal parts if they don't are 100 precise equal doesn't matter and one part is your head one part is your body and the third part is cut into two four equal pieces two parts are the feet one part divided in two parts so these are the arms and this is the rest especially for unicorn you have um the tail and you have the i think it's moan moan mina um we'll see it will be fun um so we start again with the body part head by the side uh, and i'm using crisco for my fingers um so that's why i'm always going over there um So, um, so there's a question, yes, um, in German, uh, ja, die Seite Spiegel verkehrt, ich weiß, uh, aber oft nachher kommt es richtig auf den ganzen anderen Seiten. So. Start with a ball. and then make a teardrop shape really pointy but be sure that the belly part is really round and you just want to squeeze in there it was a real unicorn again the unicorn has a belly button as well and now you take the leg part make a ball kneading it and again make a roll and then put the pressure on your palm and make a little carrot shape so for the unicorn it doesn't have toes so i just go here at the pointed end and flatten it You can pinch in a knee as well and make sure the back is flattened so you can put it against the body and we make it with straight legs today um hi sharon um it's fondant mixed with cmc i'm using Chino, but it works with every kind of modeling material uh, modeling chocolate or clay or whatever you want to use sculpty um, yes use what any ever comes to your hands uh, or even if you may play with kids um, what they have in their craft room or something for the second leg again make the carrot chip flatten it and the knee flatten the side bring on the glue and now again with the arms So you see the legs and the arm parts are really, really equal. So um, I see looking for your questions here. Um, um, uh, is that gum paste? I thought it's modeling paste. Um, I'm making my, I, th I think it's 
really hard to say what what the difference is because um, pa some parts gum paste is the same as modeling paste so um, use any kind of paste you're familiar with uh, for modeling a little bit stiffer than normal fondant that's important and hi to everybody who's joining in on um, caking all over the world uh, i'm bettina from germany and i'm showing you how to make really easy modeled animals you can do with your kids uh, or you want to have a really quick cake decorating so um it's the second animal we made already a frog and this is a unicorn at the end so nearly everything's done You can put in a little heart in here if you like, or a candle for a birthday, or you can really vary with the figurines. Again, put in your structure. This is a lollipop stick if you want to make it edible. Um, I'm using Mikado, the cookies with chocolate covered, uh, if you have them around, or salty sticks uh, work great as well spaghetti i'm not really sure so um just i had a problem with spaghetti with too much glue on and soft and so be careful with it um there's a support support christy so i hope it's okay for you <laughs> now for the head um start by kneading and now, again, make a ball. And for the unicorn, we need a little bit different mouth part as for the frog. So I start again with the egg shape. So this is really one of my main parts. For the frog, we used the pointed part for the eye part. And for the horse, I just bring it to the side and again, put it in your hand so it stays round. Push in with your fingers. And then I take my brush handle and from the nostrils and again with a knife make the mouth part a bit smaller again cut the mouth I always make sure my animals are smiling so the kick decoration is smiling I think the people smile as well so Again, with some glue, put the head on top of the body and from the rest, I take a little bit of amount and two small balls, pointed ends. and put it up on the head and with the brush handle put on the ears and of course for unicorn we need a unicorn so again ball pointed and and i twist the horn And then put it to the forehead. Again with edible paint. Make the eye. And now the fun part starts. I have some colored fondant for the main, so it really will be. Um, 
uh, rainbow unicorn so um hi everybody um do you have a book on models uh, i have a book but it's only in german so maybe you go over to youtube there I have some uh videos they are in german but i think if you have the system you really understand uh, even the german videos um, for the tail and the mane i just go and picking up some colored fondant and making little carrots yes my side is betty's sugar dreams you're on facebook uh, and it's sugar dreams um Yes, Paul, sorry, on Cakeflix there are videos as well with the one to three method. There's a little froggy and there's a little sitting doll, not one to three method, but really easy. And I made a monster gang. So um, even on Cakeflix, you can see the one to three method. Make lots of little carrots so it will be really colorful. So I hope everybody's enjoying themselves. Um, it's over here, uh, lovely weather with sun. And um, yes, unfortunately, we all have to stay inside, uh, but it's OK. So we will go to this together. And um, thanks to Paul and David for bringing us all together here. And um, I really enjoyed this morning with all the tutorials and I hope you do and uh, we'll go on all day and night nearly. So stay on cake flicks here and we're nearly done. Some smaller ones, or larger ones and Um, I start in the front and just bring some glue on the head and then you see it really works with basic shapes, ball shape, carrot shape, um, teardrop shape and then you can easily go on with modeling animals. And now for the back, make it really colorful. So that really it's a lovely unicorn. You can put some gold to the horn or even to the feet, uh, bring on some glitter. And if you have little larger fingers than, me, than I have, so I love to work with toothpicks and for the tail, I just put all colors together. Make sure to have five. I think four is, looks strange. Just five and twist them around. And for the tails, I always flatten the end, put on some glue and um, Bring it there. Maybe it can, you can do some um, snowflake dust on it. Oh, it's, it's a little bit warm in here, so it won't sit straight. So you have an idea of how to do a unicorn. And um, when I started this, I showed you maybe Easter is around the corner. So little bunny is the nearly the same system. Um, just the ears are different and can see the back or you can do uh, a little piggy same method and um, yes I bring you up and so in the back you can see a cat uh, I have even made a cockroach or a Chinese cat um, the method works for every animal uh, you can even model babies. Um, so as long as it's just one color, it works for every 
variation. Um, people doesn't work for it uh, because the proportions are different. So um, I wouldn't recommend to work with it. But, but if you're familiar with it, you get a feeling for proportions. If you want to make a smaller animal or slimmer one, just changed, uh, take parts off the, the whole thing. Um, make your own style with it. It really is easy. Um, and after Paul, because we're nearly coming to an end, um, after Paul asked me to join in for this kicking all over the world, uh, I was thinking what we can bring to you. Um, so I think the one to three method is really easy if you want to make some cakes with your children or um, not so familiar with cake decorating. It's really a basic information. So um, just two days before this, uh, I just popped up in the night and thought, um, what, you, uh, what else can you do um, to bring some fun and uh, maybe keep your kids entertained or keep yourself entertained. Um, and um, one way was to think about uh, coloring pages. But for me, coloring pages are really not creative. You just color it uh, and then it's a, so, um, and Paul, thank you that you let me show this. Um, so hopefully uh, people will like it, uh, you will enjoy it. Um, I came up with this idea. It's called Paper Baker, I called it. And you can find it as a free download on my site, uh, www.sugardreams.de. Uh, you find the link on my Facebook site uh, after this as well. And it's, it has color pages for cakes, for bun cakes uh, with animals and everything. And you can use it like paper dolls. So you can uh, cut it, you can color it. Um, so last night I started some variations. So you have a cupcake and maybe a donut and bring it together just a little cut over here and you can put on some dripping with sprinkles and um, I even made um, a Easter version so put it in there and um, flamingos with a bun cake, uh, hibiscus, um, balloon dog. Um, yeah, just, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, just pop over to my site and download it. It's for free. Um, and uh, I hope it brings some fun to you and your, kin to, uh, and your kids. And um, if you have some creations and want to share it, uh, just put in a hashtag paper baker on it so I can see it. And um, thank you for your interest and joining in. And yes, stay at Cake Flix. Uh, there are lots of fantastic colleagues coming and cake decorators and I will stay here as well. And uh, thanks again, Paul and David, for all your hard work. And I really loved to be with you today. So bye bye.